Welcome to tonight's Five on Five. The special guest is the KOBAI Five General Manager, Bob Wise. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Joe. We are celebrating 60 years here. We've been uh, doing that for a while here at, uh, at KOBI NBC Five, but uh, we've, we've delved into the past. What does the future look like for KOBI Five? Well, you know, it has a, a magical year. It's very, very rare that a broadcast group be owned by the same people. I mean, it's just incredibly rare, especially on the West Coast. 60, celebrating 60 years is a huge accomplishment for the Smullen family, and it's an honor for me to be associated with a company that's so uh, committed to the community as, as this television station is and has been and will continue to be. Future of TV, do we have an hour or so? <laughs> you know, it's, it's a very dramatic world in broadcasting right now, as it is with the businesses we partner with. A uh, dramatic change in, in how we do business every day. We have to be available on a lot of platforms. You know, now we stream our news. You can go to our website and get all the stories. So you find yourself kind of somewhat cannibalizing your own product, yet you have to be available on these different entities. The bottom line, though, is television is still the most powerful medium that you could ever hope to watch. People spend more and more time in front of TV than they ever have. And uh, so something's driving them there. So, you know, not only are we having to, to be multitasking in a lot of different areas, which with that will continue, we also have to provide a really strong local news content and be committed to our communities. You mentioned powerful and reaching people. Here we've created a lot of partnerships in yourself in your time here at uh, KOBI 5. Talk a lot about those partnerships and how they've impacted the community. Well, you know, the, the biggest partnership uh, we started about seven years ago was Southern Oregon Meth Project. And, you know, we've had a, a great run of that. That is continuing. I'm very thrilled to tell you that. And I'll announce here today that Natalie Hurd, who's anchoring our, our 6 and 11 p.m. news, will be the person that will be going into schools and having a conversation with the youth out there today about this important issue. Uh, secondly, the YES program, which we're thrilled to be going into about a year and a half of trying to provide uh, money to schools for extracurricular activities through the great partnerships that we have and some of the businesses that are participating. And yet you know, we are just, meaning KOBI, myself, our owner, or just a phone call away for any of these kinds of partnerships, be it wanting to advertise or to work with us on some of the nonprofit ventures that we participate with. All right, we'll have a few more questions for you, so stick around. We're Five on Five right after the break. Welcome back to the Five on Five. Our guest is General Manager here at KOBI 5, Bob Wise, and we were talking a lot about the 60 years, how much has changed, which includes platforms, the digital platforms. Tell us a little about how that has changed and what's the latest. Well, you know, our, our news uh, personalities are not just responsible for gathering news and putting it in our newscast in the evening and in the morning. Now we have to also make sure that it's on the web. We stream our news on an, you know, Android phones or an iPhone, or you know, you're able to gather that now wherever you may be. Uh, those kinds of changes have really redefined how we do business on a daily basis. And, you know, with Facebook and Twitter and all the various engagement applications we have to have in this Internet world, uh, it's made us kind of rethink how we do business every day. And, and all businesses go through it. It's just we're in the communications business, so we have to do it well. And we hope that we are, are reaching our audiences correctly and fastly the way they want to get it. Because, you know, if we're not doing that, they'll find it somewhere but I'm really proud of how we've uh, kind of acquiesced into this environment. I think we're providing a really good service to our viewers. Let's talk about NBC programming. Sure. It's been something that's evolved over the last uh, few years in trying to, to gain and gain and gain. What, what are you looking forward to as the NBC lineup here? Well, I, just as I'm sure you are, thrilled football is back. <laughs> Absolutely thrilled. Yes. Sunday Night Football on NBC was the number one show all of last year. So uh, it's an incredibly important entity for us as a local broadcaster to be able to put that on air. A couple new shows that are coming out. Michael J. Fox has a new show. Uh, James Spader on a show called Blacklist, which are really looking to be a hit. But the sports programming is huge, as you know, especially in Oregon, and Oregon loves football. Um, and then starting in early February, we'll have the Winter Olympics from Russia. So, you know, it's obviously some uh, really good investment from NBC into primetime Cadillac kind of, of sports entities with NFL football and the Olympics. We're very excited about that. Football and then the Olympics. Can't wait. It's I know. Uh, good times. Stuff. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much hey, for stopping by. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate very much. it. That's it for the 5 on 5. More news right after the break.